Both here and overseas, people are talking about whether returning New Zealanders should pay a portion of their quarantine or managed isolation costs. There's a lot of moving parts of this one, so let's get straight into the border tax in 60 seconds. It's pretty clear to us that it's a bad idea to charge New Zealand citizens who are presently overseas should they choose to come home. Citizens have the right of return, i.e. a constitutional human right to enter their country of citizenship. That's guaranteed in Magna Carta, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the Bill of Rights Act 1990. Saying that, the government could still lawfully impose a user pay system by passing legislation, but it would nevertheless be unfortunate and unusual policy. New Zealand's healthcare system is overwhelmingly socialised, and quarantine is a strange place to make an exception. Managed isolation isn't a service run for the benefit of returnees. It's a public health mechanism to keep everybody safe. So it's only fair that all of us fund it through taxation. Finally, implementing the border tax could inflate the cost of isolation by eroding the government's financial incentive to be efficient. Since managed isolation is a state monopoly, the government could let real costs rise unreasonably, safe in the knowledge returnees will foot the majority of the bill. The National Party has suggested that a charge could be made fairer by delaying the tax's implementation date, but that would mean a huge number of unemployed people would enter the country at once, which is expensive and difficult to manage. It also relies on the unreasonable assumption that citizens can reliably plan ahead in an unpredictable economic environment. Means testing isn't a great solution either. How could the government accurately calculate means, especially if assets are stored in foreign jurisdictions? There's a massive caveat to all of this. We probably should be charging those who are currently in New Zealand and choose to leave for holidays or business. And it would make sense to put premiums on expensive, more luxurious accommodation. Apologies, that was more than 60 seconds, but it's a complicated issue and there's a lot of room for disagreement. Let us know what you think in the comments. There are hundreds of groups across New Zealand lobbying the government to spend more of your money. We are the one group that's asking the government to spend less. Join the Taxpayers Union at taxpayers.org.nz join.